Oh, f that's my other pulse mate. Hello everybody, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day that I don't feel like I live in hell, meaning it's the first day it has rained or been cold in LA. I'm totally getting like fall winter vibes. So today's video is gonna be a what I eat in a day. It's been a while since I made one of those, so I'll do like what I eat and like my workout routine, cause really they go hand in hand. What you put into your body and how you work your body goes hand in hand. The first thing I consume, which will not be in my life for very long because my husband made the choice to quit caffeine. Like he and I used to just like mess up venti iced Starbucks coffees for a very long time and he completely cut it out like two years ago, even soda. Like he's crazy, but I watch him now for like years just pop out of bed super awake. And it takes me like two hours and so much caffeine and I'm just like uh, every morning and I'm over it. So this is why my coffee is so small because I am probably only gonna drink like a third of it. If you don't drink coffee, just don't start. You don't need it. Your body wakes up normally. So pretty much I'm breaking an addiction. I love what coffee's so good. I'm gonna miss it. First thing down, we'll pop up a little calorie counter here just cause I don't normally count calories, but I, it's fun to watch a video and to see the nutrition. I'll break that down too. And calories, I get it. I, I'm i nosy, I like these things. All right, let's start our day and get a real breakfast. And why oatmeal, you ask? Mmm, I just dropped some. I found that oatmeal is a great thing to eat before a workout, so I like to eat something before I work out. I know some people like to do intermittent fasting. I'm not one of those people. And before a workout, it's great to have some type of a carb. I'm not telling you to go to Starbucks and get like a muffin, but something like oatmeal or something as simple as a banana. A banana is a carb and it will help give you energy for you to work out. I know people associate protein with working out, but that's that's after the workout, not before the workout. So you'll see that I eat protein after. But oatmeal with some bananas and blueberries, a great way to start your day. Now let's hop into the next part of my day, which has been a part of my life for the past year. Honestly, I was someone who didn't work out, I didn't think that I was a energetic enough person to work out. I didn't enjoy it. But about a year ago, I started forcing myself to work out. Didn't get a trainer, didn't really have any knowledge. I just knew I wanted to be active. And the only thing I could do without a trainer, without embarrassing myself, was the treadmill or the Stairmaster. Today's video is sponsored by 30 Day Fitness, which is an amazing app that I honestly love and has just changed my whole workout routine because of my whole only doing cardio, which I still enjoy, but it was, I think, too much on my body to do the repetitive same workout for a year kind of made my body look unhealthy. I don't, I don't want to say like I was, but I just... The runner's body looks a little bit gaunt on me. I did 45 minutes of cardio every single day without a break because it helped me with my anxiety and my stress. I love the routine that it brought into my life, but I was too scared to do anything else. This is where 30 Day Fitness comes into play because it's like having a personal trainer in your pocket, which I can bring with me to the gym or on days where it's raining like today and I don't wanna walk to the gym, I can do my workouts from home. I'm gonna take you through one fully planned workout. So you like, you answer some questions, like do you wanna lose weight, build muscle, be active, and they make a plan for you. They make a schedule, easy to follow. They do these little video gifts, they break it down for you, they tell you how long to do it, how many reps. Very clear set instructions on what to do. So I'm gonna take you throughout my workout and you'll see how easy it is to have a personal trainer at home. And the workout is done. I am a little bit tired and very hungry now, but halfway through my workout, I ordered 
some Postmates, which I don't do often, but on days I film or days I'm just really tired and I don't have time to make a lunch, I order Postmates, which is probably like once or twice a week. And I have two go-tos. My favorite thing for lunch is a Chinese chicken salad. And I live by like the super famous health nut place. If you don't know health nut, it's what the Kardashians are always eating on their TV show. It's, it's good. They have like this red ginger in it that does make it like taste pretty good, but it's definitely overrated. There's another place called Tomato Patch. I don't know if this is like relevant to you or exciting information, but they do an even better Chinese chicken salad for less money. And it's like three grandmas who are just legit working back there and like chatting with each other and they make healthy food with love. It's it's better than the health nut. And I also got a side of fruit. It looks like bananas and strawberries. I might eat this now or just save it as like a snack. If you don't do this with your salad, you can't be friends. Slightly unrelated, does anyone else remember the McDonald's McSalad shakers? Those were legit so good. I think it was in the early 2000s. It had to have been maybe even like 1999. And it was so limited, but it was so good. It was just like salad like this in a cup that you would shake and it had a domed lid. And I remember one time I shook it and I didn't hold the lid and it just went all over the car. And my mom was like covered in lettuce. I was covered in lettuce and salad dressing. We were just like, What, what are you eating? I walk in to the living room and he's standing there watching the TV, standing with a tub of butter. A tub of country crock. Why do you have to shake me? Because I'm literally making a video about what I eat in a day and then you're over here with a tub of butter, dude. This is what I eat today. <laughs> And we're finally ready to actually start cooking. I just realized my what I eat in a day doesn't involve cooking, really. But we're gonna change that with my soup. This takes about an hour to make. Let me show you all the ingredients. Here is everything we're going to need for dinner. We got vegetable broth, tomato paste, beets, carrots, potatoes, cabbage, dill, lemon, garlic, olive oil. I also forgot you need an onion, and that's why I'm crying. <laughs> In case you're wondering, nothing happened except for those onions. <laughs> How do I make this go away? I've never had it this bad. I've never cried this bad from onion. Next, taking the onion. <laughs> I cook often, obviously. Um, no, I just, just filming and time management and the oil got too hot. You gotta put olive oil on the bottom, but don't let it get too hot. So the onions, carrots, and beets go in for like 10 minutes. Next we do the garlic for a minute. Next we gotta do four cups of vegetable broth. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Next is the potato. We gotta get this up to a boil. And last, the cabbage. And if you didn't burn it like me, it should look something better than this. Right. <laughs> He's in the lemon squeezer. Why, is that stupid? I mean, you can use your hands, this is silly. Well, I got some cuts because I didn't know how to cut the beets yeah. right, so I don't want to put lemon in my cuts. Yeah, careful. We're gonna do a light squeeze of lemon. It's been about 30 minutes, guys, by the way. That's how long it took for everything. That's a heavy squeeze of lemon. That, that was a heavy squeeze of lemon? That's, yeah. Salt and pepper to taste. You blend it after, right? No. You don't blend it? No, it's not like a pureed, ew. That's sick. If yes. you like to chew ice, you're probably low in iron and this would be a great soup for you. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I know someone who does. It's not weird, people who are low in iron chew ice. Yeah. It's a thing, Google it. Are you ruining my video? That soup is beat, yo. <laughs> Last step is kind of a big deal. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> and voila, here is my Finnish borscht. It is a beet soup. It is very good for you. My husband thinks it's disgusting, but he's never tried it, so he doesn't get an opinion. It is now very late, but I wasn't ready to call it quits 
eating, I thought I would do a dessert which is really nothing too special. It is just like those prepackaged cookies that you just throw in the oven, but they like kind of look like homemade cookies. Like it almost looks like I'm legit. And I'm pairing it with almond milk. This is the vanilla like 80 calorie almond milk. It's the best one. I think it's the highest calorie one, but it is far superior than the other ones. And I personally like the taste of almond milk over milk. I kind of think milk's a little bit gross. Um, if you love it, that's fine, but almond milk and cookies for dessert. Bobo, do you think you're getting cookies? You can't have cookies. They're bad for you, boo-boos. I'm so sorry, boo-boos. I'm so sorry, boo-boos. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna eat my cookies and Riot's gonna stare at my cookies, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions or anything, my mouth's like salivating from thinking about the cookies. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!